challenge you're going to be doing today is going to be called input injection one so with this challenge it says a friendly program wants you to greet you but it says goodbye it might say more than it should can you convince it to reveal the flag additional details will be available after launching your lit instance so i launched my instance i'm gonna see the hint look closely at how the program stores and uses your input so it says this is our instance you go down the program file here in the source code and for this challenge i'm going to be using our web shell but in this case i'll just have this open and then have this and then probably have our challenge file right here so it doesn't get in our way copy our program copy link ls rm i'll probably remove concat flag image tftp capture extracted i guess uh gen.py output.txt and warm now w get our file or right, this is our ch mod plus x to run it vault and then we're gonna download the source code right now copy link so you get so we could try like i guess reverse engineering the 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 executable file but we have the source code here which makes it easier because we don't have to reverse engineer anything we just have to understand the code so with this challenge it looks like it's doing it asks what's your name and then after that it gets your name compares your name uh and then after that it puts name as you name fun name So name and CMD, char buffer. So it copies CMD into C. Is CMD mentioned anywhere else? What is your name? Uh, F gets size of name. Okay, this sets up the thing. Name and then you name. Okay, so initially you name is set up as CMD, so that's basically what's happening in the background. You name is being set up as CMD, and then after that we get to input our name to string copy. So if you guys aren't familiar with string copy, string copy is basically a very dangerous uh, C program or C library. It's used to copy a null terminated string from a source memory located to its destination location. While well, while you know it's considered unsafe due to a lack of balance checking and has been de depre deprecated in many modern development forms. So what does it mean in uh, balance checking? So basically it doesn't check how the size of, of whatever we input. For example, if we, if we set our buffer to a value of 10, that means it can only accept 10 values. But a string copy doesn't check for 10 values. It checks that you... Uh, a string copy allows you to input something that's longer than 10 or 9, I guess in this case. And it will cause to write past the buffer and cause the buffer overflow. So basically, what the choice of this challenge is going to overwrite the buffer for name. And it's going to leak into CMD. And from CMD, we're able to, I guess, run actual commands uh, within the system. Because if you see right here, CMD gets pasted into C. And then right here, system... Uh, runs a command so let's test this out so vuln and it says what is your name so we're gonna go at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're gonna type ls and then it says goodbye a eh? and then it ran the ls command at the end so that means we were able to do that so now if we connect to so basically if we run it again vuln and then this time we write nine or how many a's is this and then now if you want cat vuln maybe this won't work because uh but we'll see right now oh and it did so i ran it too and then we get a segmentation fault so let's hopefully this works on our challenge it'll be as simple as that so input injection we connect to the netcat port and netcat I guess, uh, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, oh my god, so hard to navigate this, command C, what is your name, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, LS. Go to buy. Okay, then. We got flag.txt. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to do cat flag.txt. And then we were able to get the, the flag. Pico CTF overflow command. So yeah, that was the point of the challenge to understand that screen copy is vulnerable, that it doesn't check for the bounds of whatever we're putting inside our buffer and which allows us to overwrite the CMD buffer and put whatever command right here at the end to, I guess, run. So I'm just gonna get the flag right here and then just uh, see what we get right here and just solve this challenge and it's solved. So yeah. Hope you guys learned something new today. I know I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.